Double dino microclipper. You don't need to get tea bags. She told me to go get tea bags before I went. Get the tea bags, Pete. Get the tea bags. Tea bags. Hi everybody. This is Burly Tea Bags. <laughs> Burly Tea Bags. Hey guys, welcome to Burly Hanging. This is the best climbing podcast in the world yeah, yeah, by easy. the two best average climbers Ever. in the world. We're distinctly average. My name's Peter. My name's Danko Winterbear. Winterbear. And I'm Winter. Hair. I've got mm, winter hair. You've got winter hair. Yeah, because it's I winter now. It's cold now, you've got man. Winter plume. It's actually it's cold. Autumn, today. isn't it? Yeah, it's very autumnal. Autumnal. You know what? I uh, I was on the phone to De Hull earlier today, and um, De Hull. De Hull. Mm. Oh, DHL. Yeah, you work. You got your div. The div. The DVD. Um, I was on the phone to them, and I stepped outside to take the call because I didn't want to do it in the office, and I. Mm. You were cold. Enjoy. I was cold, but I enjoyed walking outside and feeling crisp like that air. crisp sort of dr- not dry, but yeah, like that crisp coldness. You keep lovely. flaving, is it? I keep <laughs> doing, crisp. doing this weird <clears throat> hang gesture, just to... that's so crisp, <laughs> so crisp. Uh, but yeah, were you looking fresh? Lovely day. I feel like I'm looking fresh today. You know, you always look fresh. I'm asking, do you feel like you were looking fresh? Oh, um, not until I said until you said that just then. Yeah. Um, I felt like I looked like a bum today. Wearing a baggy jumper, but it's nice. How are you? Is that United Colours of Benetton jumper? What? Do you know what that is? No. Mm, it's your age, isn't it? It is my age. It's my age showing. I think ten Oz, years difference I think between Ozzie us, Dan, and ten years is basically, <laughs> basically lifetime, lifetime for me. Lifetime. You know, I you're an old time. man in my eyes. I am an old man. Yeah, in, in my you're eyes. You're a young boy. In my eyes, you're a, you're a fucking dickhead. <laughs> That's going to peak so loud, that laugh. <laughs> That's um, so horrible. I thought you were going to say something much worse. Yeah, me too. I For a second, what, I, I was going to say it, but pedophile. I can't say it on the podcast. You that, just said it cause with pe- your eyes. People will know, and then that you'll get caught. And Don't then you're that. going to prison. Jail. Jail, you'll jail, go jail. as well, because you I'm know not, what you did. No, I, I, <laughs> no, they can't get me. They can't prove it. I can. <laughs> I feel How like, have you been done? Man, I've been really good, as always. I keep tweaking things, but I think it's it's just injuries. because I climb all the time. Uh, I, are you classing them as injuries or just little tweaks? Tweaks, tweaks. tweaks. So tweaking land, land, like a methodic. Landed on my thumb. I've give me my, my meth. Wrist. <laughs> give me my meth to fix my wrist <laughs> now. Yeah, <laughs> I need the meth. Well, like Your wrist is warm. Yeah, I'm a I'm a, I'm a thumb. Uh, all sorts of man. Just yeah, yeah, but, yeah. ignoring all that. Awesome. I've been. We've had a super cool adventure. I've been standard, just plodding through, just getting to every adventure. And we yeah. just keep, little ticks keep coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's loads of stuff to look forward little to. Little successes. Um, so no, sure. man, I'm, I'm really good. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? I am really good as well. Sort of, uh, all in all, living the dream. Life dream is great. Is it? Um, the dream uh, of living life on Mars, is it? Dream the dream to live a life on Mars. Is that the song? Probably. Definitely not the song. Uh, I'm living okay. I'm, I'm, I'm living okay. I'm living uh, okay. Sure I had okay? a big session last night and yeah. I don't feel right because of it. I've been farting all day. Dead, bad, smelly farts yeah, in the office. Bowels around, haven't you? Man, I've done something. The last two days, I've done a lot of core workout. Um, one of them was, was with a friend. Dan, Dan with the van. Dan with the van. He showed me his font workout. He does fast core workout. So, like, I do slow stuff, slow and long. He does fast and intense core workout. And uh, basically, I've just mangled my insides the last two days in a row. And uh, I've been doing some stinky ass farts. He's another guy in the lat clan, isn't he? Like, we've oh my about... god, yeah, yeah. We we did allude to it last week, I think. He, during he trains a lot. He, he trains did... fucking loads. It's quite man. so. Like the difference between you and me massively is you do this intense core shit. Yeah, and that's why you've got gnarly abs, and I've got a tire around my belly. Gnarly flabs. Gnarly flabs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and that's probably one of the biggest differences for our training. Uh, I was saying to you last week, though, I think if you join the, just uh, even just dip your toes into the core gang, 
you'd find the love for it and then you'd be a beast. Like, in terms of uh, pure aesthetics we're talking about now because you're you're a beast already, man. And I don't actually think it would do much other than maybe cave climbing help you a little bit if you cut loose, being able to get your feet back up quicker. But other than that, it won't help you if you're climbing at all, but you'll look fucking great. Imagine that. I've tried In to. winter, in, like, the in Janu- mid-January, freezing cold. But, but them just, lats. Just, them lats, take your top off. Them middle lats. of Blackstone Edge. No one else but around, if I, if just you top off, in the snow. I've still got another top, that hair. Yeah, you do. Then a hairy T-shirt. Yeah, you do. You should do a video <laughs> of you climbing in mad conditions. As just, a bear. Just topless, yeah. Oh, man, Wearing man. nothing. Maybe I'll get ripped just for that. That'd be awesome. Just for that one picture. Video. But video. Yeah. For series. Bank. Video series. <laughs> series on, on Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that was a yeah. weird moment. Amazon Prime will probably buy it later. HBO, send it, send yeah. It back to them. Well, no, I reckon you'll do it on Netflix. HBO will see the potential yeah. and give you, like, funding for, I like, call the it. next season. I know it's called already. What? Dem Lats. Dem Lats. Yeah, that looks called Dem Lats. Dem Lats, yeah. So, but this week, I find that we had an indoor session together. <clears throat> you didn't climb a huge amount together in that session. Well, yeah, this this week for me... That was powerful. I've one. climbed um, five days in a row. So, I went and did the 20 board when that was set last Friday night. Then, I went Saturday, was that... A little day we out. We did a day out, we'll get into that. Then, Sunday, I went... Uh, sport climbing indoors is it sport if it's indoors lead climbing whatever uh, awesome walls. you had a rope attached to up a plastic wall yeah and you had fun yeah it was it was it was good clean fun so did that on Sunday Monday trained with you did a great session and then kind of with you actually kind we did of not bits. We no did kind of not you, you were I was on my own mission I guess that night when I I think we both on our own missions yeah that was cool though I because we met up at the end did one hand of climbing and that was cool that, that's the shit we like yeah how much fun was that that was so that that ten minutes at the end of the session where we just we went to that quiet section in the hangar where no one else goes and we just tried to do roots uh, with one hand that was honestly the most fun the out most of that fun night. Of the night. Yeah, it really was. I had a great time getting shit done. It's on the, the most the, pointless the stuff that's the most fun. But then all of it, we say it every time, yeah. it's all pointless. Some guys yeah, looking at us going like, what are you doing? Yeah. I'm like, I, I keep doing it. That's my go to answer, you know, when people yeah. give it, if people give me shit, if people say I'm good, no matter what they say to me, I'm just going, well, it's all pointless. You're it's all pointless. pointless anyway, I love it. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah. So, so. So Owen's little thing at the moment is. Uh-huh. He's like he wants a t-shirt printing. Just heads up, is like it's he wants to set up his own t-shirt printing. No, no, like he wants us to make oh. this t-shirt. Oh, okay. He's give it to us, and it's like the idea. He's got this equation, and it's did you climb today? Yes or no? Yeah. Tick yes. <laughs> did you have fun? Yes or no? Tick yes. Yeah. Y plus Y equals Nirvana, and it's like oh, that's nice. It's all a pointless task. Nirvana. But did you have fun? Yeah. And that's the key. We had. Fucking fun. Loads, like, I was so happy you stayed a bit longer just to do that bit because I, I, Becky was proper psyched for it as well. Yeah, Becky was doing great as well, man. But I think, so Becky's like an evidence based type person. A what? <laughs> she likes evidence. Evidence? That it's efficacious or something. So, um. <laughs> what do you mean? So, no, it's like. What evidence, does that even mean? <laughs> e- you need evidence to support that it works. Oh, uh, so some. Like, it, we're very much like, let's just go let's for that hold. Let's there. just do that. I reckon I could do that. And then, like, then, you said the other day. One of us even ups it before it's even completed. This and then is fucking dude. It's just funny. And then we always do it, though. We always well, do something. The Louis Parkinson's training thing. Yeah. It's like, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. Do a climb four times. Remove your left hand for one, right hand, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, move legs. your left leg, m- remove right your right, right leg. leg. And it's all about how you control your body. Yeah. Barn doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Engage your core to stop the movement. Yeah. And it makes perfect fucking sense. If you don't know what barn door is, I'm, re- I'm going to try and like, because uh, we... I think sometimes we forget some of these people listening might just be like just starting. But barn dooring is when you uh, f- like what, like when the explain? barn door flings open. Yeah, just like a normal door. So you've got like maybe your left hand and your left leg on the on the wall, and then you just swing Same. out from the wall and you're holding it for as long as you can. You could you be any falling. door, but we chose barn door because <laughs> they're bigger. You, oh, actually, no, you couldn't be in. Lo- it could be a loft door, but that just couldn't, slams. Couldn't be a garage door. I don't, it depends. There you go. What, you barn door <laughs> upwards? Yeah. Anti-gravity barn door. Anti-gravity barn door. It's kind of like a dino swing, isn't it? Dino Swinging out swing. from dino. So we've had quite a bit of indoor, but all, most importantly, yeah. 
he got to visit a very special place in mm. North Wales, very, very famous. Oh my god, Paracelsus Cave! It really showed me, really showed me what, like, how to be a man. Taught me through like how the initial not being bit a man of, right now. like, because I remember my first little journey to the cave. So the cave, Paracelsus Cave. Is a cave in Landudno, Wales. Start from when you woke up, if you had any emotions. <laughs> okay. Okay, or maybe so some feels. I woke... Okay, some feels. Mm. We woke up early on a Saturday, Saturday morning. Night. On a Saturday morning. I uh, saw that Dan texted me asking me for the address and I decided to <laughs> I ignore it. To text him back. No, I just decided to yeah. ignore it. I was like, Dan can find his own way to us. Big boy. Yeah. Uh, we jumped in the car, went to Land Dudno, edge of Wales, um, paid the troll toll. There's troll, a, troll. There's a little man that you've got to pay to get on the on the road that goes round the Great Orm, is it called? The Great so Orm. It's a big hill that's rock. It's a big plug of limestone just yeah. that comes just off the coast. So basically, literally 30 seconds into driving on this toll road on the coast, you look left... And there's this cave that literally just goes in, dips into the ground a little bit, um, and it's just there. And it doesn't actually look as intimidating from the car, from the road. It actually looks smaller. And I was like, I'm going to be able to climb it all in one move. It's that small. <laughs> it's tiny. What are these people? On it's about? tiny. It looks easy there. And then I got out of the car, walked down into the cave, and touched a rock. And realised that it's actually very, very difficult climbing. They weren't lying. They weren't lying. They wrote those big numbers next to the things in the book oh, and yeah. put red and black colours next to it. Yeah, because they're, per- they're, they're hard. Yeah, so it's basically uh, the most amount of hard climbing in one area in the UK. Yeah. Uh, I think other than a V... Uh, what? After V8, there's nothing that's just lower... Uh, everything else is double digits... Uh, so there's a what? There's a V5, a V8, and an everything else no, is double digits, got, I think. Really? There's some V6s. Okay. Um, and actually, so like the V5, the V5 thing that we're getting to, mm. that's part of a climb, in theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the V7 off that yeah. is the climb. So, so you ba- know, not even that. Yeah, the V7 is the climb. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. And it's, then it's after, mad. But then it goes up. There's, there's so two we, we turned up there, there and we're, we're, we were capable, really, of only properly, although we did try another thing, but really we're, we're only equipped right now in terms of our strength and yeah. just ability to really work on one thing. And that's the, it's not even a cave climbing thing. It's not upside down. It's the left wall traverse. So there's this big gnarly traverse that starts technically from the depth of the cave, like right at the back. But it people have broken it up into three different sections. So you can start at the back, you can start at a slightly harder spot, and then you can start at a flake, which is a 6C plus... 6C? 6C, yeah. 6C, which is V5, is it? Yeah. Um, so, starts at a V5. Um, it was Dan's third time going there, I think. Fourth, third. fifth, maybe, I don't know. It's third or fourth. Third or fourth going there. And it was me... Becky and Plum's first time going there, and we just had eyes on one section of that traverse, and that was all that we could work out. I had a great day. Like, straight away started working on it um, with your help, and just, like, I think you actually did it first, showed us the holds that you use, but it's one of those that is definitely lots of ways to do it. Um, You've got to figure it. And there's no easy way as well. It's so weird that there's so many different ways of doing it, but there's no easier way. It's just all hard. Um, And I was really just on it, really methodical about my way of doing it. So I did the start three moves easy. Well, not easy, but I dialed them. And I was like, right, I'm not going to touch them until I come to sending it. Did the second three moves. uh, Took me a bit longer to get them dialed, but then I got them dialed. Then I got really kind of stuck on the cruxy bit for a while. Maybe worked on that for 20 minutes, but I eventually got that. And then I, I I worked on the last bit uh, and got that pretty quickly. Uh, and then it was just a case of, all right, I've spent an hour working on each section. Now I just need to have one solid run through. And I just took some deep breaths. Like I, I sat down and actually visualized me climbing every single move, every single foot swap, every single hand placement. Um, like I did it mul- multiple times, just visualized me from start to finish. 
and then I did it, and like I, I, I gave it a go, and it everything went according to plan, and I think it's because I did that preparation of visualizing everything, and that the work, and having the confidence of knowing that I can do every single section, um, and yeah, just sent it like within maybe what we were there for two hours, and I did it. I was very happy with that actually, because it's it's a hard one. Two hours, man. No, 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 before oh, I did it. Before you did it, I was going to say, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you crushed it. I got it within two hours, I think, and it was because I went with this sort of methodical approach, I think. And you can see when you you clicked. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I like that moment. You get it with climbs. Like, oh, like, man. Something clicks here, I've got this. Yeah. Um, and, like, I remember coming back the next time and then doing it, like, prettier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, it's a bit more dialed, it's yeah, a bit more yeah. flowy, it, you, you feel like you know what you're doing. Yeah. Because, like, what did you think about holding, like, quite polished limestone? You know what? Um, at the first time I touched it, I was like, whoa, this I, this is hard. Yeah. Um, and then you, you, you flow into it, man. Like, something about it, your skin just gets used to it or something, or you just know how to hold it. Yeah. Um, but I started really loving it. Like it actually is nice, quite quite nice rock, yeah. and um, just a little bit sh- can be a little bit sharp, I guess. But other than that, no complaints really. Cool, Grippier yeah. than I thought at some points because when you first touch it, you're like this is a slippy boy. All of this is so polished and shit. But then um, you just learn how to hold it. Yeah, you, you, something about it. It's so weird. It's so strange. Sounds like you had fun. Yeah, it was great. It was the first time I'll say that I really locked into that um, flow state. In climbing, yeah. like you get it when you're doing multiple moves. Yeah, you get it when you're doing tasks at home or just whatever, where like time just flies and you don't understand why. Whether it's like sometimes you get it when you're running, or if you get it even like washing the dish- dishes or something simple, and suddenly it's dawning. And you're like, whoa, where did that time go? Um, you're not really conscious of what you're doing. You're just doing it, and you're in that moment. And that was the first time it all came together for me, and that happened, and it was just. Great. Like, I, I finished that climb buzzing, like, truly, like, whoa. When I did awesome. that climb, I yeah. landed on the pad for a minute and just sat down. And yeah. just, I was truly, like, overwhelmed with a bit of adrenaline and yeah. just, like, yeah. it's, I, I, I remember when we set off, I was, like, said to everyone, it's like, you know, this is different. This is a project. Yeah, this yeah. Isn't it's like a project where we day. go to <clears throat> any of these beautiful peak places or Snowdonia, and we do and lots just fucking shit everywhere. Yeah, and you're gonna go somewhere and where spend one hours thing in a cave, do in a dingy hole. Yeah, in the ground, and there's only one thing you can touch. Yeah. It's gonna be, it's fucking gonna be hard, hard, and it's gonna like kill gonna you mentally, you out, and it's yeah. gonna beat you a bit, and you're gonna have to battle with that. Yeah, but as a place, I think like we got the pleasure of meeting that other guy oh and this dead random guy oh my god yeah. so I was working on my little my newer project which yeah, is that yeah. I was doing the slightly further extension to so the, the shot middle. hole yeah yeah so this is the shot hole yeah. so it goes from this drill like shot yeah, hole yeah. and then this other guy Owen turns up yeah. and he's come to do the 7B version yeah because he yeah, hadn't yeah. been there in however and long. he just did it didn't he, he straight away f- and he did it in such a beautiful way like so crazy I wish I'd recorded him doing, doing it that. Because yeah. the bits that I do, like, quite dynamically... So he did the 7B plus version. 7B, I think 7B. 7B. It's still huge. It's, it's the huge version. And, um, then, and then he was playing on 8As for the, for the, rest, uh, yeah. the rest of the session. And, B- he, and he came close to one of them by less than yeah, an inch. Which is a V10, isn't it? Yeah. V10, oh V11, whatever that is. Insane. It's insane. And he was super... He, another, so nice. We met another lovely dude out in this world. So nice. I hope we bump into him again. Yeah, me too. Me too. Um, um, yeah. But just to give people r- reference, then it goes: the flake star is the six. This is the left hand traverse. V five. V five. Then you add on another seven or eight moves, and that gets you a seven A. So it gets you two more grades. One uh, more grade. Really? Oh, is 60, it sixty plus? Is the same. V5, oh, is it? All right. So it gets you one more grade. For all them moves, and it's so many moves, and that gets you a seven A, and then. To, the, three, the, three more moves maybe three or there's four there's three moves, f- four moves and then get, that gives you the 7B so you were trying the one from the 7A star yeah. but I just want people to understand that it's basically it's almost pretty much the entire tri- like it's it's, fucking it's adding on another eight moves it's adding on the same distance of yeah. the the original traverse so it is fucking huge yeah. do you want to tell the story of uh, your day out there though so I, I went there with that in mind yeah and like it was going down that day and it did, like yeah. just to, <clears throat> and I was. Cut a story short. It just happened. Story short, for you, it didn't happened it? that day, but yeah, battling yeah. with it, 
it was definitely on the last possible. So when you talk to people about sessioning things, it's like I like I did. I, I had another day of it today yeah. where, like, in that last possible moment, the last thing you've got inside your tank, yeah, you do it. You do it. And, like, so basically the climb took me well over three fucking minutes. Yeah. Because I had, because I was so fucking mentally gassed yeah. and physically gassed. Yeah, I took a 51 second knee bar break. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was huge. You, you, did you time it? Because you filmed no, it. I filmed yeah, 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 yeah. 51 seconds. Wow. I, I, cause, and my head I'm so glad like, you found that knee bar, man, because that was what I'm got sure it. That's what got it for me. There's um, a knee bar in the middle that I could just sit in just really easily, but unfortunately I wasn't in the position to be trying the full traverse because I've not worked on those moves. Uh, and Dan was really finding it hard to sit in this knee bar. And but he found it. But it he took, found it eventually. It so there's two, you can do left or right leg. Yeah. That Owen lad showed me his left one, you showed me your right one. I eventually got it with the right and it made perfect sense. Yeah. And now, so I'm going back to the cave next week. Oh yeah. Oh, so um, my my goal next week is just dial in that traverse. Nice, man. It's like it's a tick, yeah, amazing. I want it dialed. Yeah. I want to get to that stage when the seven B's like. Oh, I really it's, want to go back to the cave, man. I want to get. I want to work on the one that you you did some work on it with me, and you made the end, fucking huge moves yeah, yeah. on it. Um, and it's 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 definitely like you talk about that flow state. That yeah. fifty seconds felt like about five. Yeah, yeah. And you were just in it. I was just in it, and I was just in my head. It was like, and when I got to that little mid, that little bit, mm. I was like. I'm not getting off this wall without the tick today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going today. Yeah. And it got scrappy at yeah, the end. Yeah, yeah. I didn't give a fuck. No, it was no. a proper battle. It's awesome, And, like, man. it's one of the hardest climbs. It is the hardest climb I've ever done. Yeah. Like, I had the pr- privilege of ticking another one off at Pantomimim the week before. In yeah. my, I've been on this cave exploration man, with that one recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did Singe Possum at Pantomimim, which is an <laughs> extension of another climb I've done. So I won't keep showing me these links. Which yeah, yeah. There. So is is singe possum? Is that roof climbing? Are you upside no, down? No, no, it's 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 slightly overhung. Starts yeah. off as a traverse and then comes out of the cave up. Okay, yeah, yeah. So like basically, I went to pantomime with Owen, and yeah. he's like, "This is embers. This is the V one traverse. Put them together. Put them together. You get a seven yes. A. Yeah, handed to you. And he's like, That's in his thing. eyes, it's quite a soft seven A. Probably fucking is." Whatever. I don't fucking care. Yeah. And but that was another one. That was another day out with Owen where I pieced it all together and then that came and that's yeah. gone and then did some other work and another climb there. Yeah. So it's another project there, another project there. But like I just went on this cave cave exploration with friends this last week. Yeah. yeah. So I went to Paracelis twice this time round. So it's, I think it is yeah, fourth, yeah, this yeah, my fourth yeah, yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. And um it was so nice doing it. And I, I I love at the moment that I've I've been really privileged having all this time off. Yeah, man, your work is so good for you right now, and I'm I'm really wanting to get in a position where I can come and join you on these midweek adventures because it's giving you absolute strength as well. Yeah. Like undoubtedly, mate. Ev- you should hear the whispers in that. In that the again. whispers. Everyone's whispering. You'll walk in, and everyone's like, "He's gonna break your hand. He's gonna kill you. He's so strong. He's gonna rip your face off." Like. Uh, you are so much stronger than you were two months ago. I know, I don't know. And it's happened. weird how it's just clicked, and now you're, like, especially, and what I notice it on, uh, is because we move similarly, we've always been yeah. similar climbers, but now I notice, well, we're not similar now, because now you hold small shit like it's big shit. Yeah. Like, you, you hold the small things a lot easier than you were. Yeah. And I can just tell, man, it's just... It's clicking for it's you, the strength, man. Something yeah. about it, it's giving you strength, man. Do you know what I think it is, actually? Is, um, because talking to Owen about, not not your Owen, the new Owen that we new met. Owen. Because he's Younger dead strong, Owen. man. He, he was unreal. He's dead strong. And I was saying to him, so, I just want to get dead strong grip. My, my fingers, I know that's where they let me down occasionally when I'm on small crimps and rails and my, I start chicken winging. Um, I'm sure my technique could be cleaner, but I just want strong grip right now. Um, and I was saying to him, I, I do the beast maker, I do repeaters. And I, but I, I asked him what what's his method of like getting stronger. Well, how did he do it? Getting stronger fingers, and he said it's max weight. It's I've, max. I've, I've heard a lot about it, and that's it's, the one. It's it's so he but said there's uh, another, there's something millimeter. Theory. I can't remember what he said. He said a certain amount. And he uses the lattice training thing, but it's just about max hangs. So how much weight you can hang for 10 seconds, take a two-minute break, do it again. Just do that six times, 
put that into your workout regimen. You get it's, it's just working your fingers to their max for a short amount of time, not working them half for a long amount of time like repeaters do, where you yeah. go off and on, off and on. Um, and I think climbing outside, you're touching your max way more often because yeah. you're not coming off. Do you know what I mean? You're like, uh, it just naturally works your max out more than it does indoors. But then I've other Owen. Yeah. Wiser maybe Owen. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Find Tall, out. taller Owen for sure. Um, I, I'm gonna. He's given me my new training regime. Oh, what's he done? Um, in a nutshell. Yeah. He's defined it for me. It is. Don't do any training <laughs> and just see where you plateau. Right. So I could plateau here, but the likelihood is, is that I'm not going to because right. I've just started my outdoor yeah, journey yeah, yeah. realistically. So don't do any training, just climb loads. And, and see where you get to. And then if you plateau, that's when you start thinking about it. And then he's like, if you plateau there, then train, and you'll see what the fuck happens then. Oh, that's and such In my head, I was idea. like, because I, I, I like the idea of training, but I don't really give a fuck. No. Deep down. Yeah, yeah. But ultimately, I was like, when he said it, I was like, because yeah. that, that was my theory anyway. Yeah, yeah Just yeah. climb all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's, people th- say it. I think, well. I, I think I like climbing. Yeah. I think people have noticed <laughs> that. So, but no, I'm, my goal now is to keep climbing until I reach this weird plateau for a month or so. Around. You don't feel like you've moved. And then I'm going to start actually thinking, I need to hit the. The fifty board, yeah, religiously, you yeah, know, doing the big doing power the moves, and it's like, and then I need to start doing things. Maybe you'll like never that. plateau with that. Now. Maybe I'll, I'll break all records, when, records. I'm, when I'm like sixty. Yeah, I'll that'd just be keep. Great. Going. I think it'll happen, man. I think it's almost a certainty at this point. There was some. Pe- I went to Pex Hill again today, and yeah, there was yeah. some Pex Hill soldier stories coming out, and there's, yeah. there's two guys there that have done their hardest ever climbs in the sixties, wow. hitting like E eight, yeah, yeah, trad. That's awesome. In their 60s. In their 60s. Breaking their records yeah, for themselves. I love that. That's, what? They're, they're like, that's what I love about climbing, man. It's so cool, isn't it? There's always the next. Basically. There's always progress to be made. We can't stop doing things because we like them. Yeah. I love them. I love them. And right. I like climbing with you. I like climbing with you, then. I'm with friends. Well, I do like climbing with you. But, but sometimes no, let's stop talking about I it. don't like climbing you because there's something that I need to do and with that I think it's probably oh, time that we get topic into of the topic week. of the week this is the topic of the week Ba-da-da-da-doom. very special very special topic topic I've got a topic for topic and topic and topic topics Today's topic is 7A climbing. Is this a ceiling? 7A climbing? <laughs> what? So the, so the topic of the week is 7A because I've not got a 7A yet, but I'm pretty close potentially yeah. to getting 7A. Oh, everyone's close. But in the last three weeks, you've got four three. or f- I've got three, three. And, there's, and there's, there's more coming. And it's there's not just saying that. It's like, and it's not, I'm not just going there for that. No, and doing it's all this other stuff, but these other ones are starting to happen. So now. it's always been a little bit of thing of in my in my head a little bit is like who's going to get seven A first, especially in font when Ben oh, got the seven yeah, yeah, A's yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. people were getting seven A's in font and it became this it weird became thing. A thing. Yeah, in font it became a thing where some people were like going for seven A's, and then I realised oh shit this is a thing this is something to aim for, and then uh, then I was since then in my head it's been like. Right, I'm going to try and get one before Dan, but Dan's also climbing outdoors a lot more. Oh, I'm doing more than you. And he's just getting good. Um, And you've... So that happened a few weeks ago. You got your first 7A. Unfortunately, I wasn't there at St. B's. Couldn't give it a go. Really annoying. But I came to the conclusion that I need to get a 7A... Now, I'd hate being the guy that's all about grades, because I... I'd hate being like a but we're talking but, about this weird number. Yeah. That for some <laughs> fucking reason, well, one reason, the realistic this, reason, yeah. is that a lot of quality climbing seems to magically take place after that number. Yeah. We found yeah, loads yeah, of yeah. beautiful climbs, but for some reason, all these, like, three-star name climbs... Yeah, it's all after 7A, man. All after 7A. Yeah, so yeah. there's this realistic piece to it. Yeah. Ultimately, there's also this mythical thing where it's like... It's just become a thing. It's become a thing. Yeah, it's just become a thing. And, well, basically, w- the first time we ever went outdoor climbing, we were together. 
and it was th- pretty much this time last year. November. In Armscliffe. It was November. I've got it's all it was in it, October. I've got it in my Instagram. November Fine. the eleventh, I think. Thank fuck for that. So one okay. year is the goal. So I've got so basically <laughs> November the eleventh. I've got until November the eleventh to get a seven A because that would mean I've got a seven A within the first year of me climbing outdoors and I'll be in the same ranks as Dan. I could say that I've still got a seven A and we're relatively the similar level. We're same. We're same. Same. Me and you same Z's. Because also I've been thinking I want to put together a little cool journaly book thing yeah. with all of our climbing, with all the scamps, and it have it be cool to see a cool like just a journey from when we first went outdoors from Armscliff all the way to, now. to Armscliff to Armscliff. Armscliff to Armscliff. November to November twenty eighteen to the end of twenty nineteen. That just, is the one. I just can't wait. And I just needs to happen basically. Uh but it's it's it, today I was thinking about it and it's kinda eating me it's eating me a little bit. I, I actually think so. Two oh, things. Sorry. For this Armscliff piece, yeah. I think we might need to take a day's leave for between Armscliff. us for Armscliff and we get as many people as we can together, especially Tom and Plum. And oh, hopefully yeah. Becky and all the other characters yeah, just yeah. because that's the day we all met yeah, yeah, at yeah. Armscliff. Yeah, and these to to Tom and Plum need to be there. And Sally and Josie and all these characters. Yeah, they characters. all need to be there. But, um, yeah. but ultimately Armscliff, that's going to happen. Yeah. So And it'd be, it'd be so beautiful to get the grade even a six, a six whatever it is yeah, yeah, yeah. because the first time we went we did fucking nothing man did like what did we do I, I we, we will find out when we go there yeah, and yeah. we look at the rocks and yeah, go we'll like, oh, yeah, I got on top that. of that one and, and that, that one that's not even a thing and that's not a thing anymore yeah. but anyway this weekend we're going to um, South Valley Burbage Burbage South Valley whichever way around it's the yeah, boulders yeah. there and, and there's, 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 there's a 7-8 seven, eight eight plus. plus it's going down that potentially is up our alley it's going down there's a ju- so you jump from one rock high flying up, Irishman yeah yeah that's like that. exactly yeah. it and um, there's a you jump onto a slab and then Off it's a literally just a mantle so you jump to a slab and then you mantle out the slab just looks the mantle does look a little bit hard uh, but it's well up our alley man it's jumping going down is, is our, our so, alley so what I'm hoping is the 7A grade you get that because you've got to jump in the air and not many people like jumping in the air but me and you we like, we like jumping jumping in the air I made a 7A climb today in my work You've got to run up a wall and jump to a pole and land on it. And I was actually doing it. But the topic is, is it fucking with our head? So I think it was for me for a bit. Oh, really? I think it is for you. I think it does. I think it does for everyone. What, just the grade that for, yeah. it gets to your head? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I guess that's exactly what I just said. Like, I was going to be, a, I was going to be a massive dick about it on this tonight. I was laughing. <laughs> I wanted to talk about it for that reason. But it's like I genuinely feel like maybe not me yeah. personally, but the fact that I got the grey got in your head. Yeah, maybe. And I feel like I noticed it because you texted me the other day when you're climbing. To say, yeah, I was like, Dad, I got a seven got, eight because I got a seven eight indoors on ropes. Uh, which I was dead happy about, but it doesn't. It's not a seven. No, out, but I can. But that's for me. Well, yeah. I joked when I got it, and but I was like, I was like, dead proud though. I just no, you should to be. Tell people. No, you I should be. I wanted to tell you. I wanted to tell Tom. No, you hundred percent should yeah. be. But it's like something in there. Yeah, there's something that made something text made you text me. <laughs> I couldn't have just waited. Yeah. I needed to text you and tell you. Like, cause when I got like, my, because you, the you know, know when I got my seven A plus. Um, yeah. I yeah. didn't tell anyone. No, you didn't. I waited. Because I, I knew you had a feeling <laughs> inside your belly. I knew you were going to get it. You no, but there. I said to you, like, there's this one specific climb that it's if it's not as mad. But everyone, everyone laughed. Like, a few people said, like, when I was a bit of a dick last time saying, I got the climb, whatever, go try it. Yeah. The top moves. It's one of the hardest mantles. It's the hardest mantle I've done. Yeah. It's fucking insane. And yeah, the crimps yeah. are. Small, like. Fucking small. But anyway, I went and then ticked off these two actual 7A climbs. Yeah. And they're very different. And I think it has actually boosted my confidence as well. Yeah, so do you feel like it's the thing now that you've broken the seal of 7A, you don't think about it as much or something? Or no. maybe you've... Obviously, 7A is fucking hard grade. Yeah. So like all the climbing at that grade is going to be hard. Yeah. But do you approach, approach it better now or anything? Or maybe I, I, it feels more possible... Something. It definitely feels more possible, but yeah. then like so, then you've got all these different types of seven A. You got font seven A. You've got yeah. Paracel the seven A, and like the the lip stuff, you know, because me and Pete were trying a seven A yeah. called Paracel original while we were there, and that's oh, that's a whole yeah. other ball game. Yeah, yeah. Then you've got font seven A, which is a whole other ball game. But then right. you've also got Peck seven A, yeah. 
which is a whole other <laughs> fucking ball game. Yeah. Like, I was trying to peck 7A today. Yeah, yeah. I'm nowhere fucking near yeah, that yeah. thing. I'm very close to some other oh, six C's, and there's a 7B dino. You know, like, as, as the grades get higher, the gap between the ga- grades get higher, yeah. so, like, like there can be very there can be doable seven A's or workable seven A's and there can be impossible seven A's as well. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like yeah, well, like cl- your climbing style. You yeah, know. like it becomes more apparent yeah. your climbing style. Your your yeah. like, do you know what I mean? As you, as you get. I, I do think it is a thing. I think in the subculture, it's made into a thing yeah. in our gang. Like, but like when Ben ticks seven A, and then Tom ticks seven A, yeah. we saw Garrett kick seven A's. Yeah. It's like you look at those people and you think well, they're really good climbers. It's not like, but I feel like I got in your head uh, without even trying. Yeah, and I think I'm still in there. Uh, I'm in, in there. there that much. I'm Actually, in all I, the time. I'm not. I'm in there now. You're not right now. You're not done. Inside. <laughs> Part. No, no, but it's uh, joke. No. All joking aside, and that it's what's in my head is that I kind of just want it. Um, I want to be able to. I want to get it before November eleventh, yeah. so that it's just it's like cool to be able to not. Yeah. Even, it's cool to be able to say it, but it's just cool having done a seven A within your first year of yeah. climbing. It's like proof of progress. Yeah. It's also just a nice way to thingy, and honestly. Just be a nice way to end that book that I'm trying to make. Man, it'd be so beautiful. Like, just having seven A's done at the end. Just what I need, though, is just both go back to Paracellas so I can take a photo of you doing it, your seven A. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That, uh, I need... But oh, I can't wait to get that book done, though. Fuck really, all the... Awesome. We, we'll figure it. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. But ultimately, though, it's like this weird number has meant a lot to our all of the gangs in climbing. Yeah. And it, it still does. Yeah, yeah. And... Um, but my theory about it all was because I, I climb more, is that I would just keep climbing yeah. and climbing and climbing, and it'll eventually just come. Yeah, yeah. So we were just we we're talking about that off air a little bit about training and. Yeah. Oh no, was that on air? I, can't I don't remember. know who we are anymore. But, but Owen told you, don't climb, don't train, just, just climb, climb and climb and climb until you plateau, and that's when you train. And that makes a whole lot of sense, and that's something I'd like to do. But I don't, cl- I can't climb as much as you because I'm nine to five. So right now I'm just gonna fucking train as well. I'm just yeah. gonna fucking train so hard in the evenings. So I'm there. Uh, so you are definitely in my head actually <laughs> thinking about it because last night I was doing sit ups <laughs> and I was like, I need to. I'm glad I'm doing these right now because Dan's not doing these right now. <laughs> I literally thought, like, I don't. I'm not climbing as much. So right now I need to push myself to the brink of exhaustion. Like I cycled home last night and I was fucked, man. Absolutely fucked, and I was dead happy. Yeah. But I, I've got this thing with you where I think you could explode. Not like, I mean, we're climbing. Yeah. That as well. Yeah, He's talking just... about touching himself. No, I'm not. In years. No, I'm not. So, um, <laughs> but I think you could because your commitment to training is far greater. My commitment to climbing is only greater than yours because my job permits. Mm-hmm. Your commitment to training is far greater than mine because I fucking hate training. Yeah. Um, and as an athlete, you are. F- like, so. As as uh, as a climbing gosh. climber, yeah, I am right now slightly ahead. Yeah, yeah. But you're also well, a, sw- a swimmer, a runner, in, in this, in a the, Ken Dharma. Right. You, you don't need to go into it all that. I'm sure. I'm as, in your head. As we, uh, I'm not leaving it. <laughs> this is mine. This is mine. Now. Your head's mine now. Uh, I'm sure in the like. Ten, I'd like ten to think years. we're going to be climbing together. For yeah. Ten years. Do you know what I mean? I'd love for us in 10 years to look back and be like, yeah, we've climbed from day one, arms cliff, day one sort of thing. Um, and I, I'm guessing, if you stop throwing your farts at me, you have disgusted the book. In your head. But we'll, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll have these moments where we are just like, one person's there, and you know what I mean? We're constantly sort of passing each other in terms of that. Um, I just don't want you to run away with it. That's the only thing. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to run away with it. And the whole thing is like, I keep going to one thing I've enjoyed as well. I go to this crag that no, not many people have been to, blah yeah. blah blah, and I bring it back. So I go there with an Owen. Yeah, yeah. I go there with a dude. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah, then with I, with an and then we all then come back and we've all the got back. the knowledge. That's so clear, man. You know that day that you came, uh, we took my little brother. Yeah. Who was, was it? Tom, you, me, little ben. Brother, Big Ben. Did Dian come for a bit? Maybe. Yeah, I think Dian was there. I think Dian was there. Anyway, 
it was so clear that you were the you stepped into the guru light and you were just showing us all. You're like, fat. This is fat neck. This is Jimmy Bean Blue Jim. This is this is Jimmy Bean's boy. Blue Balls. This is Jimmy Bean's Bean. <laughs> Give it a. F- I said it to I said it to Owen today though. I was like I said I want to be the Wizard's Apprentice of Pex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did he say? And he said nothing. He's like okay. so funny. Okay, just doesn't give a shit. Doesn't give a fuck. He's like who is this? I like I do my climbs. He's got in his head, and I go, "What's that?" And he'll go, "I've no idea." Yeah, he just and he'll go, "What grade's that?" And he'll go, "I've no idea." I was like, "I fucking hate you." You've got more. You've forgotten more yeah, than we know. Genuinely, genuinely. Has forgotten more than we know. Um, that place. But. So uh, cool. Or other as well. The thing I forgot to say is well, I want to give a shout out from Paracellas. Oh, fuck! Yeah. <laughs> Jesus! Just for everyone, just because we didn't say it before, for, for everyone just pulling in and really knuckling down, like, and. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, like, it's been really nice going to these places and people fucking. Yeah. Biting. Yeah, yeah. So. And cool. f- it's like climbing's a purposeful task. It's yeah. A, it is useless, I get that, but. Yeah, yeah. It's we're all fucking doing it. Yeah. Anyway, topic of the and, week. And, wait, wait, wait. Topic of the week, I'm in Pete's head. No, but okay, yeah, cool, <laughs> that's great. Something we didn't cover earlier, <laughs> get out of my head. Uh, MVP of Paracellus, that um, it's got to be. It's got to be. It's got to be Sale. It's got to be. It's got to be Sale. So she didn't get the full flight traverse, but she, she spent all day on this. All day on it, and she got close. She she's, worked, she's, she's got done every dialed, single section. She was just destroyed by she, she was just. She got every single section, she got the hard crooks dialed, um, she just oh, was nothing by the end of it. I really feel for her, but it's it's We're so cool back. to see because it's gonna mean so the fucking world. What's what's it. the difference between the climbing hangar, our place of worship, yeah. and the real rock? The real rock is there for as long as we don't pull it off the wall. Yeah, yeah. It's there. Yeah. It is a project. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm, are you gonna go back to Paris Ellis Cave? Hell yes. So am I, I brother. I want to go back no, exactly. as soon as possible. So projects are good. Yeah. They keep you healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I left Pex Hill today with five new things. Yeah. Easy. Awesome. Five new things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you want. It's amazing. That's what you want, man. So topic of the week covered. Seven day. Gonna get it by November. So we're coming day. into our average advice nice. of the week. Have we got any? Have we got any questions submitted? I, I need. Hang on. We need to do the theme tune. I think for now, let's just redo the theme tune every week. To ba-da, ba-da. Ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. No, that's the top of the week. <laughs> you ready? Got average advice for you and me. It's average. Average advice. You know what I see. So average. Gotta get the average, 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 average. Average advice. Nice. Went deep. So we've got a new message. Someone contacted us on Instagram. Uh, can I have a fake name for this person, please? I don't want to out them. I am, I'm going to call them Miss Verbov. Miss? My year five prime school teacher. <laughs> Miss Verbov. Miss Verbov. Verblov. Verbov. <laughs> That's the weirdest name. It's Russian. Verblov. Verbov. Verbov. V-E-R-B-O-V. Okay, Verbov. 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 Okay, so Miss Verbov. <laughs> right. That is weird, man. Did you make up Verbov? No, it's a She really... was actually called Verbov. Verbov? <laughs> it's never been weird until someone said it out loud three That's times. That's the weirdest word in the world. Verbov. <laughs> Verbov. Okay. Miss Verbov. Yo, 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 PH pod. Short and sweet. People keep telling me that bouldering isn't really climbing. Are they right? What do I do? That's really hurt me, that. <laughs> what? What do I do? Yeah. You don't really need to do much. No, also, firstly, Miss Fairbob, but the first part of this yes. is bouldering really climbing. Uh, yes. So, it is, isn't it? Define, I, I don't know what a definition is for yeah. climbing. Well, we've had this before, actually, talking to uh, loads of loads, people. People have often said, like, dinoing isn't climbing, or, like, run and jump and dino things, uh, it's not climbing. Because uh, in the hangar, um, the new competition set, there was one that was like a five-step run and dino to that red hole. Awesome. Really cool climb, but lots of people look at it and That's go... That's not climbing. It's not a climb. It's not climbing. And then I sent you that meme the other day oh, right. about dinos, which is like, he says, is this... He says, if one guy says, oh, that shit, it's not really climbing, yeah. will you do it? Yeah, exactly. It's only shit because you're shit at it. <laughs> it's like... yeah. But, so, I, I don't look at cave climbing and go, oh my god, that's not... Lots of people say yeah. cave climbing isn't really climbing. Really? Yeah. Jesus. Like, one of the gurus in our world says it isn't. Really? 
Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The guru, the original guru. No, no, the newer guru, old new guru. Andy. Andy says so cave climbing he isn't doesn't climbing. like cave climbing. But he said it's not climbing. Because it isn't what he perceives to be climbing. Yeah, wow. So, like... It's annoying, that, isn't it? It's I, dead weird. I think weird. people should be more open with that sort of thing. Especially for me, because it hits close to home, the running and jumping shit. Like, I think that's climbing. It's, it might be messing around. It might be a bit more dynamic or quicker. I, I actually had a friend... I've, so Miss Verbov yeah, I've Ms. only Verbov. just remembered that I've actually had a friend who said that to me he's like are you ever going to go to Awesome Walls and do some real climbing with me Whoa. and I was like um, no <laughs> 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 yeah fair play um, yeah. and he said well you know Aldrin is certainly real climbing fuck yeah it's fucking real to the core and even if it's indoors even if you climb up a drain pipe yeah even if you dino from the side of your bedroom into your bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Climbing. climbing. I think, should we make a definition for climbing now? For, like an official barely hanging podcast yeah. definition. Let's work this out. Um, Moving on something with your feet off the ground. Not even feet off the ground. Moving on something from somewhere to somewhere else. With your feet off the ground. <laughs> no, why? No, because sometimes you. No, because you get off the ground in every circumstance. The goal of it always is the floor oh. is lava. Okay. The floor is lava. All right, barely hanging podcast definition of climbing is the floor moving is lava. from one place to the other when the floor is lava. Yeah. That's the podcast uh, definition. Moving of from one place, place to, to another, another while the floor is lava. When the floor is when lava. When the floor is lava. Because sometimes it's not lava. Yeah. But when it is lava, that's climbing. I think that's climbing. That is climbing. So all you dickheads out there. So what do you do? It's all climbing. What do you do? You've got choice actually. What so I think do you do? even like <clears throat> You either you either look at them directly in the eyes yeah. and just laugh maniacally <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> and then just walk away. That's what you've got to do, yeah. Or you just say floor is lava. The floor is lava. And jump onto the closest thing. To jump you. onto the closest thing. And then you go, that's climbing. I just climbed this. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead, lava bit. You're <laughs> yeah. So bouldering is real. Dickheads. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. You get some Miss, weird stuff Miss out Verbal, there. Miss I hope that we've answered your question there. I think I mean, she did ask, what do I do? Uh, Have we just told her? Oh, yeah. Either say, either look at them and just laugh. laugh. My night, but not yeah, like, yeah. not like, <laughs> like look at them if intent. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you could hurt them. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. you're a boulderer. And you're strong. Strong. Yeah, and you just strong. go, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. And nod yeah. a lot. Or you jump onto the closest thing. Say, lava. Floor and then is you're, lava. You're dead. You're dead now. Now I've climbed. Yeah. You're not. You didn't climb. Yeah. You didn't climb and now you're dead. Because you yeah. you said bouldering wasn't real. Yeah. And then just say that. And then if if they keep arguing, even though they're dead and they can't argue because yeah. of floor is lava, but if they keep, just say the definition to them. And then if that doesn't work, then try laughing again. <laughs> <laughs> it always works for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys well I hope you enjoyed this episode of Barely Hanging yeah. um, make sure that you write a review on our um, Jesus on our iTunes um, like iTunes. iTunes Spotify video, Spotify write reviews speak to us like, on Instagram comment subscribe uh, do all the tell things. a friend tell a friend Lick that's a rock. most important tell a friend that you think might be into it lick a rock Follow me at Pete underscore Rick. And me at Danko Winterbear. And follow the Barely Hanging Podcast and Dino Club on Instagram as well. At BHPOD and at Dino, Dino Club. Club. Yeah, it's got, we've got all the things going on there. Uh, this will be coming out on Friday, which means, yeah, we're, we're in a week's time or two weeks' time, we're going to have another Dino Club night at the Hangar. So come along to that. We're going to be doing it on a Friday night so we can go a bit Friday, more insane. Friday. Last week, it, last time it was on a Tuesday. Yeah. And he told us it's busy Tuesdays. Do it on a Friday and we'll be able to set bigger stuff yeah. for you guys where you can fly around. Fly! Fly! Got the fly! So yeah, we're going to be doing that. Thanks, um, guys. Thank you guys for listening. Have a lovely time. Humbling. <laughs>